Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Black women in corporate America. Essence recently reported a new study that shows we are being grossly mistreated in the workplace. We are far less likely to pr be promoted, more likely to face discrimination, and less likely to receive support from our managers. Wow, so how do we uh, make a difference? And how do, despite the obstacles, do we turn the tides? Mm -hmm. Well, to, to help us today, to give us advice, we have Michelle Gaskin-Williams, corporate executive and at Accenture. Mm -hmm. Uh, and author of the book, Klein. Yes. yes. Welcome. Thank How are you today? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Okay, so you've been in corporate America 25 years. Yes. Just, just rising <laughs> to yes. the top, yes. making your way inside the C-suite. Yes. So as you have gone up this ladder, what's been the most pressing issue, particularly for women of color in corporate America? The most pressing issue for women of color, as I see it, is the lack of institutional support mm. for them to be successful. Okay. So historically, organizations have not been designed nor built for women to be successful with all the travel and the long hours mm -hmm. and the business dinners and so forth. So we've had to make our own way. Mm. So to that end, um, we've also been over mentored, mm. oh. under sponsored and undervalued. Huh. So we need advocates and champions and individuals who are decision makers, yes. and advocates and champions for us um, sitting at the table so that we can be part of those conversations in those rooms when the decisions are being made. Ooh. What are, what, what's the price that women pay to navigate these waters? Mm -hmm. I think the price uh, that we pay is um, our health, yeah. mm -hmm. our relationships with our significant others and our spouses. And um, if I could be candid for Please. a moment, um, you know, my husband and I, we've had our ups and downs in terms of our marriage. And yeah. at certain points of our marriage, I put my career ahead of him. Mm -hmm. And one example of that is we had a vacation a few years ago uh, that he surprised me with. And I was Blackberry, remember those? Yeah. Blackberry in yeah. a way. I had a Blackberry and two cell phones. And he looked at me and said, you know, I, I didn't sign up for this. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is just not acceptable for me. So I decided to reprioritize okay. my life. So. Yeah, Michelle, may I ask? And, and this, this is—you're not the first and only person or only woman who's ever went through this. Mm -hmm. May I ask why do you think it is expected for women to be in a supportive role of a man, and the man is not to be in a supportive role of a woman in the career, in in the in the realm of uh, professionalism? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's it's both. And I have been fortunate enough to be in a relationship where you know there have been times when he's been the breadwinner mm -hmm. and there have been times when Paradigm I've been shifts, the bread, yeah. breadwinner. Yeah. So I think it's a reciprocal relationship but as long as the common goal is acknowledged mm -hmm. and known and you're working toward that common goal, all is good. good. Yes, good, good, And good, all good. is good with this book, Climb. Yes. Why did you deem it necessary? Taking every step with conviction, courage and calculated risk mm. to achieve a thriving <laughs> career and a successful life. That's a That's lot. Good. That's a lot. Why was this book necessary? Well, I get a lot of my gratification just to, just to helping women yeah. realize their their ambition and to realize their potential. Okay. And so if you think about the term climb mm -hmm. and what it means, it means to ascend or mm -hmm. to gradually go upward mm -hmm. with continual process. Yes. And so that's a term that I've used to describe my career trajectory over the years. Mm -hmm. And so there are some of us who have an easy go of it, who can take the proverbial elevator up to the C-suite yeah, yeah. or to the executive mm -hmm. levels. And then others, not so much. We have to take the stairs Honey. with a backpack mm -hmm. and no air conditioning. What? You yes. better. So, yes. So that's I true. wanted to tell a candid, truthful, honest, vulnerable story, uh, using myself as the protagonist, mm -hmm. uh, to tell my journey yes. and to talk about that. And, and Michelle, you say ask for exactly what you want. Ask for what you want. These mm -hmm. are the tips. These are the tips. This is number one. So what does that mean? You know, I've been taught by the best, mm -hmm. my parents. So my father is a retired executive, my mother's an entrepreneur, and they always said just ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that can happen is that they say no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, have those candid or courageous conversations. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised what the outcome Come might be. Yes, okay. And number two, you say it's important to stand out. Mm -hmm. Stand mm -hmm. out, yes. Mm -hmm. Differentiate yourself from the masses. Mm -hmm. Think of yourself as a product, mm -hmm. a USB. Mm -hmm. I think of myself as like a, what is your unique selling proposition, mm -hmm. right? What is that one thing that differentiates you from everybody else? Hone in on that, zero in on that, and use that to your advantage. Ooh. You also say being different is good. 
Yes. So that goes back to standing out. Mm -hmm. Something exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you said uh, different yourself from the masses. Mm -hmm. uh, you also say to be uh, proactive. Mm -hmm. Proactive instead of reactive. Let's talk a little yes. bit about that. Proactive in terms of finding your or building your ecosystem, mm -hmm. your support networks. Mm -hmm. So I talked a little bit about sponsors earlier. So sponsors and mentors, very important. And I would be remiss if I would, would think that I sit where I sit um, because of individuals who didn't help me yeah. along the way. Right. And I've had many individuals who have had my back over the years. Right. But you say don't be leery of being over mentored. You mentioned that in the beginning yes, statement. You what do. does that yes. mean? Well, there's a difference between mentorship okay. and sponsorship. Okay. And if I can use a sports analogy real quick, I love sports. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> um, a mentor, that is your personal coach. So that's the person that's helping you to flex those muscles and to get bigger, better, bolder, faster mm -hmm. every single day. And your uh, sponsor, however, However, that is your agent, your professional agent. So that's the person sitting at the table gotcha. who's advocating oh, and championing for you and negotiating for you yeah. at the table where it counts. Really quickly, yeah. your last yeah. and final one is uh, helping lift us. Yeah, lift, 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 lift us your climb. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we are our sister's keeper, mm -hmm. whether we want to acknowledge that or not. And it is our indelible responsibility to ensure that she succeeds. Mm -hmm. So we need to cover her, mentor her, guard her, and protect her. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what we at do all the circles. We do that all day, every, every day. day. Yeah. Forget That's why one. I love this show so much. <laughs> Forget one. Thank you so much. Love this show. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. She said she DVR us too. I sure did. I sure did. Thank you so much, Michelle. We thank appreciate it. This is my side ride too. I had to. Exactly. Don't forget to pick up a copy of her book, Climb, winner of the African American Literary Award for Best Self Help Book of 2018. Yes, it's available everywhere. Fine books are sold. Come in.